What's going on, everyone? This is Adam and Craig with Grand Sand Golf. In this video, we're talking our round four DFS PGA showdown targets for the Sanderson Farms tournament. We have a podcast that will record with the full tournament recap on Monday. Links are below. You can find that podcast wherever podcasts are. Craig, you really like Sergio coming into the week, and uh, I think he's kind of reaffirming that what do, what do you think of what your boy so far well i have uh i've been going to sergio and he's been wrong so it's good to finally have <laughs> it feel right uh but no I, I mean to me it's just a classic case of of trusting ball strikers even you know they have especially yeah, yeah. sometimes they get bad putters but uh i'll keep going back to them because when they when they you know can just have a neutral putting week they're so good ball striking that they they yeah. are at the top of leaderboards so I like Sergio quite a bit on Sunday, but he's not actually my pick for showdown plays. The one guy I do like tied at the top is actually JT Poston. So 8,400 on DraftKings. He just looked like a much better day was out there Saturday, and he just got kind of a lot of lip outs, back kicks into the bunker and that kind of thing. He's still second in strokes gained approach, and I think that's one of the most important stats here. I mean, so you're going to get birdie opportunities. And the one thing I really like for my showdown plays across the board is consistency. If you've been under 70 throughout the tournament, I really think you can continue that through the weekend or into Sunday. So he's been 66, 67, 69. And I think that 69, it could have been a 67. It could have been a 68 very easily. Yeah, I like that idea. I mean, it shows you're both, uh, you're playing well and you also, the course is, you're, you're seeing the course well. So I like it. Yeah. Next, I got Christopher Ventura at 8,100. His price has creeped up uh, throughout the week. He was my sleeper to start with because he was so cheap on DraftKings. I'm sticking with him. He's just a he's just back of the leaders. He's third off the tee uh, throughout the first three days. I think he's playing really well. I think his confidence is high. Again, just really consistent through the tournament. 67, 68, 68. I think a guy who can easily kind of get another 68, go four under and see how that does on Sunday. Yeah, no, I like it a lot. I'm kicking myself a bit because I didn't end up with him in any of my tournament uh, lineups, and I was yeah. I was considering him, and I, I was going to put him in my pool, and I just I for some reason I just missed out on having him in there, and so kicking myself a bit. But I like it. I like the pick. I think he's my favorite outside of the leaders right now. I think uh, Poston and Sergio have a good shot, uh, but Ventura. Yeah, he's I also. Don't know. He's, I really like what he, I'm seeing. Sorry to interrupt you, but he's one mm -hmm. of these guys who, you know, there's some people at the top who they're, they're putting very well, and it's just not sustainable. Yeah. Whereas he's he's just playing well, and exactly, and yeah. his putter is is there as well. It's not like it's carrying him, which that always makes me happy. And then going a little bit cheaper, my third pick is Scott Stallings, 7,500. He's actually ranked fifth in strokes gained T to green through three days. So he's playing really well. It's just not coming together on the greens. I liked on Saturday a bogey free round. I think he was 400. So he didn't go low, low, low like Cam Davis or anyone like that. But it's bogey free. And I love to see mistake free rounds. And he's just historically strong, good birdie or better percentage. And that's just DraftKings points. That's just birdies, eagle opportunity, which he had today. So, yeah, I really like Scott Stallings at 75. I'd like him a lot more if he could have had that bogey-free round on Friday because I had him uh, in <laughs> when you played yeah, him? Yeah. a few lineups. And uh, he, yeah. unfortunately, he was four under on the front and four over on the back. I don't know if he actually played the front first, but whatever he played first, he was four under and then four over on the second. So, uh, yeah. no, I like it. I yeah. think he can he can make birdies and bunches too. So. So who do you like going into the final round? Okay, right? so I've got uh, Corey Connors here at 9,800. Uh, you know, this all of these guys kind of fit into my classic ball striker, um, how, I, how I like to pick those ball strikers and roll with them. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, going in, we had him as our number three in the in the tournament for course fit. Uh, he's been top five in tee to green on the week. You know, he's been 67, 70, 69. So he is one of these guys. He's been at least two under par every day. Uh, right. I think he yeah. can. If I don't know if you saw his 67 in the first round, but that could have been even lower. So he's definitely got the ability to go yeah. crazy oh, low. Absolutely. And um, yeah. from back at minus 10, I could see him getting a top five quite quite comfortably. And, and getting those bonus points. And that course fit is on our Grand Sand Golf model, right? On our DFS model on our website. Yeah. Um, and then next, yeah. this is probably, you know, I, I like all three of those guys who are, who are right now tied 
um, for the lead. Mm -hmm. uh, but Sergio, you know, you talk about consistency. He's been 68, 68, 66. He's number one tee yeah. to green. He's number one by a healthy margin off the tee. Uh, he's, I want to say he's like almost a half stroke better than the guy who's number two off the tee. So he's just hitting the yeah. ball great. He was the number one course fit going in uh, because he, he's so good off the tee uh, and with his ball striking yeah. that, that the model loves him. Um, so, you know, just keep those eyes closed, keep hitting uh, those like, putts, and yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be smart to to cram posting Garcia and uh, Cam Davis into a lineup. I think you have to pick two or three, one or three, or in different uh, lineups, or in different lineups. I I think I'll I, I agree with you. I like Garcia, I like Post, and I think Cam Davis a little too inconsistent. He's my boy. I like him on showdowns, but. The putter was just a little bit too hot, so I think it's a pump the brakes on Cam Davis. So I like Sergio quite a bit. I don't know if I would fully pump the brakes just because, um, I mean, it's tough to see. The thing with Cam Davis is his ownership might get high too because he was so, like, he's so highly owned going yeah. into the tournament that that's one of the things I would worry about. But, um, yeah. you know, I haven't made any lineups yet, but I'll be pretty tempted to have all three of them in different lineups um, and maybe have right. a couple where right. I stack two together. Um but yeah, last one here, Tyler McCumber. Uh, he's coming in at minus 11. Uh, he's gone 70, 69, 66. Uh, he is one of these guys that, you know, he's another tee to green guy. Uh, he was second last week and eight straight rounds under par. So minus 29. And that's crazy. Minus 29. With, and eight I want to say he, was a, he had a 65 and a 66. That might be wrong, but he had like two mid 60s rounds last week. So. He's, he's one of these guys that can score. Uh, you know, we've spoken yeah. about him before. He he won a bunch on, I want to say it was the McKenzie. One of the, he won one of the mini three, tours. Three tournaments in a month, basically. Yeah, so he is one of these guys that first off can get hot. And second off, when he yeah. gets hot, he can he can win. And he can get to the top of leaderboards. He, he yeah. you know, a lot of guys, even when they're hot, they're, their top 10 is kind of their cap. But he can easily be at yeah, the yeah. very top of the leaderboard. Yeah. So just recapping, I got JT Poston at 8,500, Christopher Ventura at 8,100, and Scott Stallings at 7,500 on DraftKings. And I have picked Corey Connors, our Canadian boy, at 9,800, Sergio at 8,700, and Tyler McCumber at 6,900. I like it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we had a lot of content this week, and thank you for supporting us, liking, subscribing, all that thing. Remember, we do have a podcast that we're recording tomorrow night after the tournament. It will drop on Monday, so catch that wherever you get your podcasts. And please subscribe and uh, rate our channel. And, yeah, yeah, thanks for joining We'll us. try to get some more showdown videos out. If this is your thing, we'll get some more out for next week as well. So uh, look out for those. Absolutely. Good luck, everyone. Take care, everybody.